Alright guys, so here we have another word problem dealing with composite functions. Okay, so like the last word problem we dealt with dealing with composite functions, um, this probably isn't the most practical way to go about solving this. However, we're doing it so that we can show that, yes, we can solve various word problems using composite functions and so that we have a deeper understanding of composite functions as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and read this problem and then we'll talk about how we're going to solve it. It says a music shop sells guitars, all right, 15% off. Preferred customers also receive an additional 10% off, okay? Number one is asking, write a composite function to represent the final cost of a guitar for a preferred customer. So they want us to write a composite function here um, to represent the final cost for a preferred customer. So in order to do this, we're going to have to create um, two different functions here, right? Our first one is going to be for the regular customer, right, who gets 15% off. So what we're going to say here is, okay, for our regular, and let's do this in a different color, so the cost of our regular customer, so we'll say R, meaning our regular customer, right, and the cost, so R of C, okay, is going to be the following, right, if you want to show a 15% discount, right, well, we're going to show that by point a. Five, and then whatever the cost is, right? You start at 1.0 and then you subtract whatever percent you're trying to discount. In this case, it would be 0.15. So 1.0 minus um, 0.15 will give you 0.85, right? If you're trying to do a markup, you just do the opposite, you add. Okay? All right, so here is the cost of our regular customer, okay? But let's assume that you also are a preferred customer. We have to create a function for that. So preferred cost, or P of C, right? So that's going to be what? Well, that's going to be 10% off, okay? So again, start at 1.0, and you want to do a 10% discount. So 1.0 minus 0.1, right, is going to give you 0 0.90. See, and just so you understand how this is working, assume you came into the um, guitar shop and you bought a guitar and you were a preferred customer and the guitar, the guitar cost $300. Well, you'd go to your regular, okay, customer cost and you would plug it in here. But then since you are a preferred customer, you would then take that cost, okay, and plug it in here as well. And that would give you the final total, okay, of your cost. However, we want to create a composite function so we don't have to do multiple steps here. We want to do it all in one go. All right, so we're going to do a composite function. So remember what we're trying to get here. We're trying to get the final cost of the preferred customer. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do P compose, okay, R of C. So that's going to look like this. Um, we'll have P compose R of C, okay? And so let's go ahead and go through this. Again, we work our way from the inside out when dealing with composite functions. So start inside the parentheses, R of C, we're simply just gonna plug it in, 0.85C. So we'll have P, and then we'll have 0.85C, okay? Now all we have to do is, okay, we go to our function here, P of C, right? And wherever we see a C here, we're plugging this guy in, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to have point nine zero. Now here's my C, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this guy in. Point eight five C. Okay. And so what that is going to give us is the following, right? We'll have P compose R of C. Okay, is going to equal, well, let's figure out what this is here. All right, 0 0.90, 0 0.90 times 0.85, and we get 0.765C, 0.765C, okay? Let me go ahead and erase some of this work here. All right, so there is our composite function that represents the final cost of a preferred customer, okay? Now, number two is asking us to find the cost of a guitar that costs $450 purchased by a preferred customer. So again, since we already have our um, composite function written, all right, 
all we have to do now is take this um, cost and plug it in here and that's going to give us the final cost of the preferred customer. So you're simply just going to do 450 times 0.765 okay, and you're going to get $344.25. So $344.25 and this here is going to be your final answer. Okay, so again, there are more practical ways to probably solve this problem, but the goal is to show that we can use composite functions to solve various word problems, all right? Okay, so that is it.